Hey guys, it's Oz Creates, and today we're gonna do an unboxing setup and demo of Spirit Halloween's Wacky Mole. All right, so let's get right into it. So I've been wanting this animatronic for a little while now, and I just decided to get him from, I got some money for Christmas and from other things. So I'm excited to unbox it. So let's get right into it. I haven't opened it yet. So it just came today from Spirit. So let's see what we got in here. All right. So right away, we've got our instructions, our leg pull pipes, our feet, which are very big. And they put the nice paper between them so they can come apart easily. We've got clothing, the giant hammer and hand, the other hand, his super creepy head, and we've got two more arm holes to help make his body look bigger. We've got looks like right here our shoulder and hip pieces we've got our mechanism our base and our leg pulls let me sort this all out and get rid of the box and we'll get right into the setup all right, so let's get right into this setup. So we've got our base here. I lay the clothing out, the collar piece, the pants, the shirt with the buttons, everything is laid out. So the first step here on our instructions is to put our leg poles in. So the front of it should be, get this, and then we'll take all of our B poles and connect them to the base A. Make sure that you have like the right side of the poles because some of them might be a bit messed up. Pull one, two, three, and four. All right, so right after that, we're gonna immediately put our shoes on. So these are very cool shoes. They're very big and pretty detailed too. They're just a uh, plain old plastic, but let's put these on right here. These little things here help keep the foot in the right spot. So you can just put the foot over that so it keeps it from not turning in too much. There we go. So the next step is to take parts H and put them over the pants. So he has a bit of length, width to him so he's not super skinny. So let's put on our second one. All right, so after that, we're gonna do the pants. So I love the design on Wacky's Mole's pants. They're half polka dot, half stripe, and they're black light reactive too. So let's put this one on. And this one. get them pulled down and set up and I'm gonna raise the camera and we'll go to the next step all right so we got all the pants fixed up so the next step is to put on the mechanism so here's our mechanism right here you've got your sound control volume on foot pad all that IR sensor his actual motor here that makes him do his spinning motion so let's go ahead and put this on like this it's just a snap lock again but you're probably, since you put the pants on, gonna have to push a bit out to get him on. And this part's a bit hard. You have to get it on at the right time on both of them. There we go. So now I'll just snap lock that in. There we go. And after that, we're gonna put on the shoulder part, D. And that's gonna go like this. There's little slips to put them in. So I'm gonna do that off camera because this might be a bit harder to do. So let me do that. All right, so I was mistaken. That part that I was just showing you goes down here. The instructions are a bit small, so I couldn't really see it. So this part's gonna go down here. 
and our next step after that is to pull up his pants over it. This is what gives him his waist kind of shape. So first you're gonna do this side, and then come over here and do this side. So it should hug right here, right about here, around the mechanism, like this. And then we'll come back later and fix his pants up a bit if they need a bit of fixing. But the next step after that is gonna be to put on, like I was doing wrong, our shoulder piece. That's part E right here. So that's gonna go like this. And that gives him his neck shape. And then after we do that, we're going to wire him up. I'm gonna do that off camera, so let me do that. All right, so what I did there is I ran his adapter up through his pant leg and plugged it into here. That's how he's gonna get power. So again, like I said, we'll fix up the pant legs and stuff later. But the next step after that is going to be to put on his shirt. This is gonna make him come to life properly. So he is very tall, as you can tell. He's 5'8". So we're gonna put his shirt up like this, make sure the buttons are gonna be in the front and do something like this and pull his shirt down like this. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put our arm pulls in. They're basically the same thing as the pant legs, but they already have the pull in them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you have your prong side right there. And then this is the side that has the hand on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see which hand goes on which side. I think they're the exact same. Yeah, they're the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take his arm, take his sleeve and put the arm up through the sleeve till it's up there. And then you can come in through the shirt and put those two little things right in there. So it's kind of hard to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these two arm pulls off camera. All right, so the next step after I got those arm pulls in is to do his hands. So his right, which is this side for me, is his hammer hand. So it looks like it might be hand painted, but it might not. So he's got these super cool gloves and of course the iconic hammer. It looks like blood's on it or fire or whatever you like to call it. It's yellow, it's got the brown handle with the red and the silver, it's amazing. So we're gonna put this on hand I right here. And we're gonna put the other hand over here on J. I don't think that it matters what letter that the pulls in the arms are, because I didn't really look at the instructions, but I think they're the exact same. All right, so now that we've got his hands all fixed up, and he's got hands actually now, the next step is gonna be to do his head. All right, so we've got the great head here. It looks like it's latex, plastic eyeballs, of course. The teeth pop out a bit, and he's got the latex eyebrows, but he's got real hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how to like get their hair to look really good after we get his head on. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take his head, and there's just another one, just like the arms in our little hole, and you put it right in there. So this brings the entire animatronic to life here. So here he is with his head on. So the next step is gonna be to put his IR sensor right here where it can sense, to plug in his head and all that. And I'm gonna do that off camera, so I'll be right back. All right, so one of the last pieces to our friend here is his collar piece. So it's just Velcro again, but, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it up around his neck like this, and then you're gonna go to the back and just do the regular Velcro. So, Oh, I did two moves. <laughs> so now we're going to do that again. Do it a bit tighter. 
There we go. So now you can spruce that all up. Get that like that. Get it all fluffed up. So now what I'm gonna do is before we do the demo, I'm just gonna spruce them all up. So the stick, annoying stickers that they put on, I'll take that off. Fix up all of his clothing, his sleeves, his pants. They look pretty good though. So after all of that stuff, I'm gonna go to the demo. So let's go to the daytime demo. All right, he's all set up. I fixed the hair a bit with a comb and got it all fluffed up kind of like that. So we're gonna do one demo with him like this and then I'll do one close up demo and then one night demo. So here goes the demo, plugging them in now. Step right up, boys and girls. Who's next to get walloped by my hammer? <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Rocky Mole, plug me over the head. <laughs> All right, so we'll do one more demo like this. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer! <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna whop you over the head, too! Oh, please, come a little closer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, so there was that demo, so now let's go to the other demo. Bad Halloween! Step right up, boys and girls! Who's next? to get walloped by my hammer. <laughs> I'll be the first on your block to say, Wacky Mole, club me over the head. <laughs> I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer. <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna walk you over the head. I just love hitting you bozos with my hammer. <laughs> you better watch out, or I'm gonna whop you over the head, too. Oh, please, come a little closer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there he was, Spirit Halloween's Wacky Mole. I really hope to get a black light because his clothing is all black light reactive. So it will be really cool to see him like that. I think this is a great animatronic, very realistic too. I think he'd be a great one to add to your collection, so I would definitely recommend him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.